have uh, got this almost done getting the skin on the hell of uh, the, uh, the horizontal stabilizer. It's late in the day. I'm having a hard time thinking. Anyway, uh, so we riveted this one side, which is just super duper, and then um, we're gonna we're going to go back inside and watch more of the home built help video, and then um, connect these guys, the end caps, and then I'll do all the other end cappy stuff, which is going to be a bit, and then um, then there's going to be this thing. So there's really quite a bit of stuff to do, but we're almost done at least getting the skin on here, which is very good. And then what we're going to do uh, before we close it all up, we're going to get some of this handy dandy super duper Corrosion X Aviation Edition, and we're going to spray that on the uh, on all of the mating surfaces here around the rivets and all that sort of stuff. And I think that is going to be above and beyond. It'll be more than more than sufficient. So that's what's going on. Uh, what else? Oh, and then uh, this. We got the, um, ooh, it looks so nice. We got these parts back from being powder coated, and it's kind of hard to tell, but they're like a, well, you can see it pretty well. They're like a grayish kind of color with like flecks of black. We call it thundercloud gray. And then I just had to uh, take off the, the coating here because it, they didn't fit super well into the bearing, uh, bearing pieces, which are gonna go here and here and then so we'll finally be able to get those in there and then um, get some of that stuff set up with the controls and then start boxing in the baggage area and that's going to be really good so i'm going to work on that and uh but we'll we'll do that stuff after we get this done because this is definitely a lot easier with uh two people so that's what's going on and i think that's it that's pretty much it that is what's going on. There's a hurricane going on. Well, now they're not they're not saying it's a tropical storm or whatever, but a lot of rain, a lot of wind, flooding. Uh, we're getting like 50 mile per hour winds, at least over at the airport, I heard. And it's supposed to be a lot of flooding going on, and we've had some power glitches. So um, fortunately, most of the stuff we can do without power, aside from, well, the, the rivet gun needs, the air rivet gun needs power. Um, for the air compressor, but otherwise we could use the... No, we couldn't use the, the hand squeezer because we don't have the right size head for that. That's an issue. Anyway, bye. So here we have the uh, hinge, putting the hinge on here. I don't think, I think I ran out of room uh, on my camera before I could uh, actually film us when we, when we put all the Clecos in, but there wasn't a whole lot going on there. Uh, we just kind of folded the skin over, 
we riveted these guys, these little L brackets, folded the skin over, and then put these clicos in place as per instructions, regulations, recommendations, and John. And now we have put the hinge in. Again, marking the center of the hinge, center of the stabilizer, and then putting it in the in between or under the skin there. And then just we just drilled out all these holes uh, to the for the um, the uh, uh, what is it one eighth one eighth inch silver clicos size silver clicos size and then number 40s. yeah number forties that's right and then. Um, and then now we're gonna drill it with the number 30s and then and then eventually the number 20s. And that'll be it. That actually wasn't too bad. Um, lining everything up and stuff. It wasn't it wasn't as bad as I thought. It's just a lot of drilling. So that's what's going on. And then we'll be moving on to these end caps. I don't know if I mentioned this, but we put Corrosion X all along uh, in here. But what I actually ended up doing was just taking a paintbrush and putting a little Corrosion X in this cup and then just painting it on. And it just, it's just so great. I just don't understand why anybody would not use it and all that good stuff. And then we made these little L brackets there. So anyway, that's what's going on. Hey, okay, so what we're going to do today, uh, we are going to finish this stabilizer. So anyway, we built the stabilizer a little while ago. Um, but we did not put the end caps on yet, and so we need to get the end caps on and just finish it up, and then we can put this thing uh, somewhere out of the way, and then we can work on the elevator, and then do some more stuff in the baggage compartment. So, um, as you're watching these videos, I'm trying to keep everything as chronological as I can, but it's kind of difficult to really try and condense the videos like section by section just because sometimes we might stop one section for a while and then work on another section and then go back to that section or we might have to complete one section before we do another um, so I don't know just I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best to categorize this uh, as, as good as as good as I can uh, so that way it's easy to find and, and, and reference and stuff like that so uh, oh, that's probably too dark okay uh, anyway Hey, I'm going to get a new camera soon, so now I'll actually be able to see what I'm filming while I'm filming it when I'm filming like this, so that'll be super nice. It's going to be freaking sweet! <laughs> So 
I've noticed after editing a few videos that it really helps to just take a second and explain what I'm doing to kind of show what's happening in the time-lapse montage footage. So I'm going to get better about doing that. So what I'm doing here is I am actually, uh, these are the end, plastic end caps that are going to go right here. And they're, uh, we're going to drill holes in them. And so what I'm trying to do is get these to get the both sides to be kind of level and even and kind of sit flat, or at least flat. Or the main thing is just that we, we're trying to have enough plastic uh, or a, an even amount of plastic when we drill the holes to rivet to. And then that's what dad's doing right now. He's riveting, he's riveting these little, um, little pointy pieces um, that we will be drilling and riveting the plastic end cap to. So that is what's going on. And then we forgot to rivet the, this rib on the underside. And so that's what he was doing earlier. So we just drilled this, we're going to flip it over, and yeah, that seems to be lining up fairly well. It's a quick of this, yeah. Stuff, you'd have to be like actually inspecting it and looking at it. That wasn't so, really that wasn't so bad. It wasn't quite as bad. Just confusing more than anything else. Was pretty much sums up this entire process of <laughs> building an airplane. Not so bad, it's confusing. Confusing. Constantly confused. Ta-da, we got it done. We got, so the horizontal stabilizer, we got the end caps on here. We're not gonna rivet them yet because we have to take them off, of course. Um, something about leveling, putting a level on the on the end ribs or something when, when we put it, attach it to the fuselage. So we're just gonna leave them clecoed, um, but we got all the holes marked and drilled. It wasn't actually as hard as I had thought. You can kind of see here the plastic does um, go over the metal a little bit, but I think that's fine, and I would rather have that because then we can just trim the plastic. We can just trim the plastic instead of, um, you know, it'd be worse if the metal was sticking out past the plastic. So, uh, let's see. So that's, that's that. The only other thing that we need to finish on here, um, of course, we need to attach the, the uh, elevator once we build it, but what we need to do is finish riveting right along here. Yeah. So once we get that fit thing figured out, figuring out a good way of, uh, of riveting the rivets in those kind of hard to reach areas, we'll finish this baby up and then we'll set it aside, probably work on some more of the baggage compartment and the actual elevator itself. See ya.